Welcome to the channel everybody. My name is Ryan and this is Creature Lab and it is brand new as of the recording of this video. It was released today. So we are going to jump into a brand new game. Um, it is on sale right now on Steam. So check the link in the description if you're interested. There's also a demo available so you can just test it out or you can hang out with me for a while and see how the game goes. So let's hit start experiment. I haven't played at all so I'm brand new. If this is your first time with Creature Lab, we strive strongly recommend you choose normal well we'll go with that we'll we'll start normal maybe we'll go hard and insane later on down the road see how things go this game looks really intriguing though let's see okay o opposite elements cancel each other out mixing these different icons here will result in such and such you can feed your mutants using any potion potion potions that match the mutant have a better effect okay you can use any mutagen for limb incubation even if it doesn't match your creature you can enhance your creature using any potions even if they don't match your creature analyzing any substance reveals the exact elements it contains okay so it looks like we're we're looking at a harder difficulty probably is going to yeah make the things like potions won't affect the creature if it doesn't match okay or things of that nature interesting i wonder if there's other like combat components i don't know i don't know a thing about it but let's just confirm n normal difficulty here uh tooltip says some some limbs grant powerful abilities to your creatures but they only work if you attach a pair of identical limbs okay interesting and here we are tutorial screen okay day one week one welcome to the creature lab now following the tutorial you will learn the core mechanics if you are already familiar with them you can skip it this is your only chance to do that so choose wisely let's play the tutorial here I found a way to create perfection and achieve mastery over death, yet my works are shunned by a short-sighted group of ignorance that call itself the scientific community. If my blog posts are not enough to make them treat me as genius I truly am, then I will find another way to make them bow down to me. So the goal, check TV, any mouse button to continue. All right, we now have control. Okay, let things smooth out a little bit. I can go in and change the sensitivity too. I might have to do that a little bit. All right, that's a little bit better. This way my, I won't be snapping the screen back and forth, make anybody nauseous. But let's see here. This is an interesting looking area. Uh, there are two messages waiting in the dark web. Okay, yeah, we need to go check the TV. Is this it over here? I see, I see multiple TVs. Oh, interesting logo. All right, let's find something we can interact with here. It's the desk. So far, oh wait, what is F1? Okay, this brings up just our map. Interesting, overview, hospital. Wow, there's a lot of different maps. Okay, okay. Ultimate mutagen, your goal. Okay, equipment. Oh. All right, I'm not gonna get too far into that. I just saw the F1 button up there marked. So let's find this darn TV screen. How do I enter it? There's so many screens around here. It must be this one. Uh, let's see, a problem has been detected and the door has been shut down to prevent damage to your computer. Frankenstein initialization failed. Technical info. Okay, press any key to wipe system. Good luck. Huh, Do we? can I push a key now? Let's see. So far, I don't see anything popping up like to interact with, but let me keep exploring for a little bit. Okay, so while I was just exploring down here, going through some of the different rooms, I noticed that screen up there glowing through the wall. So I imagine that's probably where I need to go. Hey, look at that, turn on TV. Okay, another news. Other news. This year's annual award in medicine went to our day city's man of the year, Dr. Isaac Wade, for his groundbreaking discoveries about mutations in human tissue. The vote was unanimous as the committee was impressed by the amount of work done by a single man. Dr. Wade expressed his gratitude and emphasized the importance of ethical experimentation in modern society. This answer is in reference to controversial blog posts by a pseudoscientist who proclaims himself to be a modern Frankenstein. Dr. Wade voiced similar concerns in the past, and has stated that science must have boundaries, and if they are ever crossed, a true horror 
like a leash. Mm. Nice. Okay. To begin your experiments, go to the storage room and get an elixir you need. Take the substance from the storage room. We can do that. Nice. Let's head down here. I have a feeling... Is that this room that I was in? There's a whole bunch of stuff in here. See, I imagine that our goal is probably outlined, maybe, like the TV was. I just have to notice it. Let's see here. This doesn't really look like a storage room, does it? I guess storage, but for bodies, <laughs> not for potions. Let's keep looking around. Oh, yep, I see it right up there. It's glowing. For some reason, I just want to spend all my time in the basement, but no, it happens to be up here. Oh, man, this place is awesome. Dude, is that what the... Oh, that glass is so realistic looking. Look at how it opens and see the, like, the reflection of light as it goes. Really good looking game. Okay, so here is... Take question mark. Got, ooh, look at my hand. It's all bloody. Now pour this elixir into the uh, Alembic. Okay. Alembic's like a, a glass thingy. Oh, there it is over there. Yeah, the Alembic. Chemistry. Pour to the empty vessel did it find another elixir to make a mutagen goal so i just what do i do with this one put down grab got it do you see that like telekinesis there i just literally like pulled it with my hand okay um pour how do i pour wait oh it goes in this one ah Okay, so place an empty flask under the Olympic and then turn it on to mix the ingredients. Gotcha. Is this empty? No, this has still got junk in it, probably. Let's put these down over here, actually. Oh, it is empty. Never mind. So, put down. Beauty. Now, how do I turn it on? Wait, what? Oh, so I bet you that's not the right type of flask missing empty flask what is this called empty vessel okay I've got to find an empty flask it's probably in here somewhere maybe we'll take that for now just till I find what I'm looking for hmm okay let's no let's go back in here and test this out because this is the only thing I see glowing right now. So let me just mess around with it for a second. Okay, so I figured it out here. I was trying to sit, play around with this thing and put the flask on top of this. But I realized, what the hell am I doing? I need to place the flask underneath the output spout here of the Alembic itself so that we can capture our ingredient. Now we can turn it on. Look at that. Beautiful. It just takes a little thinking. A little brain power. To be a mad scientist. Ooh, okay. Find a syringe and take a sample of the mixture. I did see a syringe. I did. Oh, there it is right over there. It's on this tray. Interesting. Okay. Let's go ahead and withdraw. Are we going to use this on ourselves? Okay, place the sample under the microscope and... Oh, okay, and begin examining it. I thought we were going full, like, you know, self-testing here. Okay, turn on microscope. Okay. Uh, use the scroll bars to analyze the sample. The bar in the left will help you see your progress. Okay. So the bar here analyzing. Let's zoom. Mellow weed composition. Click to change the name of reagent. Max 20 characters. Okay. Open database. All right, let's scroll. Oh. Uh, there we go. That that feels good. Let's let's see here. Wait, I'm not grabbing it. Sharpness. Um That's way okay. So it looks like that's where the analyst uh the analyzing bar is maxed out at. Oh, okay. Oh. Let's adjust the sharpness just a bit. There we go. Successful. You have just created a mutagen. Mutagens are used to create and improve your creatures. You can leave this screen now. Well, thank you. Successful. Open database. Should I name it? Let's do, let's just say tutorial. 
Okay, that's our tutorial stuff. Okay, open database, exit. Nice. Take your mutagen and pour it into a body chamber to start creating your first mutant. You can find the body chamber in the operating room. Okay. Is that downstairs? Can I put the syringe down? Yeah, there we go. All right. Um, wait, no, no. I want to take the syringe, don't I? So pour the mutagen. No, we want the bottle. Yeah. Into the body chamber. Is that downstairs? Oh, there it is. Okay, I can see it glowing. What's, what's over here? Here we go. Second door. Nice. This place is awesome. Okay, pour. Oh, we gotta open it. Pour it. <laughs> it's like uh, filling up your antifreeze on your card. Take a test subject out of the mortuary box in the storage room. Sweet, we already have test subjects. Nice. Close it. Can I put this down? Okay, and out of the mortuary box. Where is that, upstairs? Yeah, it looks like it's upstairs. Let's go. Oh, I saw these. I didn't even realize what they are or what they were, but now I see. Oh, God. Whoa, we're getting kind of a X-rated view there. Take the subject, poor girl. Put the subject in the body chamber. Okay, we can do that. Is that another body right there on the floor? Jesus. It's hard to see now. Uh, I can still sprint, though, but I'm a little bit slower. All right. Uh, open the cover with the... Tr oh, okay. And this thing looks old. <laughs> Put the subject in the body chamber. Click the body chamber by using a panel on the right. Then click on the display at the center of the body chamber to start the transformation process. Now fill the chamber with mutagen and initialize. Okay. I feel like the tutorial is so anxious for us to mutate. They're like, come on, do it. Do it. All right, what do we got? Access the setting panel. Cool. Okay, fill with mutagen. Flush out. Tuto yep, we see our tutorial substance. Cool, let's fill with mutagen. Good, 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 good. Oh, man. Wait, creature. Flush. Initialize. Ho, 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 ho. Interesting. Successful. Our first achievement. Modern Frankenstein, baby. All right, let's uh, wake. What Place your creature and start. Okay, let's wake the creature. Back. Body in chamber. Oh, wait. I think we have to have it sedated. Oh, shoot. Okay, move your creature to the stasis chamber where it will await your orders. Make sure to close the stasis chamber after you place a creature inside. Oh, yeah. Always make sure to close your stasis chamber after inserting creatures, right? Okay, let's do it. Um, okay. Oh, no, no, that's not what I want. I want to go to the panel on the right. There it is. Come here, you nasty looking thing. Somehow it changed her outfit. Okay, let's see. Open the door, of course. Access panel. Uh, hold on, let me put her in there first. Always remember to close the door. <laughs> he just tosses her in there. <laughs> Dude, calm down. Be a little nicer. Okay, uh, open the secret desk. What? Secret desk to reveal a hidden computer and use it to plan your first invasion. Well, we're kind of taking some serious steps here. I guess that's how we order her around, I imagine. But man, it really escalated. Head to the computer. Order a secret invasion. Oh, what? This is a computer? Oh my... No way. Dude, turn it on. Okay, you can gain more resources by sending your creatures into the city. Let's get some better equipment. Select a district marked by... Uh, and I don't know what that is. What is that? Uh, oh, new equipment. Oh, okay. It's, it looks like gear. It's just like an assortment of gear is what the icon's supposed to represent, I think. Or maybe it's a fist. I don't know. But that's gear. Okay. New equipment. This one? Is this where we're at? Yeah, that's that's the equipment one. Okay, we'll go for that one. The panel on the left displays relative population of the district as well as expected ingredients and possible military units. Guarding them... Oh, okay, impossible military units guarding them. Click on the mission button. Hold on, let's look at this real quick. Two sets of population. 
Events are equipment. Boulet Setuville. Setu I don't know what that is, but um, probably some sort of re yeah chemical or whatever. Meloweed is scarce. Army. They have one anti-terrorist unit and four police. Okay. Let's go to the mission. There she is. Pick the gather equipment mission. Then select which creatures you want to send out by clicking a plus sign next to their portrait. Once you're done, press the start mission. Okay. There's the plus sign. So we want gather equip. Gather parts for an automated mutagen mixer. Cool. Used to mix four potions at the same time. When upgraded, it can multiply the resulting potion. You may clash with the military if they detect your creatures. They will never detect her. Look at her. She's she's completely stealthed out. Looks just like a normal person. She's got like squid arms and a giant gaping gash in her stomach, but she's good. Probability of detection, 100%. <laughs> okay, never mind. She's not so good. Anyway, let's just do it. Oh, battle view. Okay, tutorial. The military spotted your creature. They will now fight. This screen will display the progress of combat and show you how your creatures perform. You can skip this visualization by pressing the skip button. Round one, fight. Second wave. So this is us. Oh, Went a little quick, but hey, I'll, I'm sure I'll get to look at that screen more often. Uh, you can see a summary of the mission by reading this report. After you're done, return to the lab by pressing the appropriate button while on the city map. Okay. So how, what did we get? Oh, special items, special lab equipment. Cool. Investigation. Okay. Continue. Nice. Back to the lab. Let's go. Oh, pretty sweet. This new machine lets you create uh, known mutagens faster. Let's check the last mutagen you made. Press the E button to open the potion encyclopedia. Locate your mutagen and click on it. E. Tutorial, there it is. You can see the details of your mutagen in this window. You can write your own observations in the notes window and you can also select the elements you think the mutagen contains take note of the ingredients used to make the mutagen and exit the encyclopedia all right so the elements used were these symbols i guess it says possible elements okay note here we can write it got it okay estimated elements Huh. No, I don't want that. Okay. Interesting. Save that. Got it. Close it. Nice. Okay. You can find four ingredients in your storage room. They can be used to recreate your last mutagen. Take them. Okay. Storage room was over here. Ooh, four ingredients. Can I take more than one? Now pour all four ingredients into the new machine. Got it. Can I grab more than one or no? Probably not. No. Okay, let's do it real quick. Oh, look at this baby. Pour it in there. Okay, good. We'll s put that down. Right. Maybe I should clean up my bottles. I'll take them back into storage here. Put them over here. Keep things nice and organized. Whoever placed that bottle is like terrible. Okay, let's get this one in here. Oh man, look at this baby. This thing's futuristic and cyberpunk at the same time. And a little bit of, uh, I don't know, it's got some other stuff too. It's got like literally like the handle for like a hose, your garden hose. <laughs> nice. Oh, gotta put down my bottle first. Put that down, sir. Grab it. Mellow weed. Let's get it. Going in. Oh. Blue. So should I be keeping note of these names and stuff here? Because I'm not. No, I think it tells me. I think I saw the names. Istrander. Interesting name. I can tell some of these are pretty hard to pronounce. So you're going you're gonna to hear me goof a lot of them. Okay, good job. All you need to do now is start the brewing process. 
Recreate our last mutagen. So that's crazy how... Oh, that's not the storage room. The last one only took two ingredients. This one's taken four, but I guess we'll be able to recreate it in bulk or whatever. Oh, crap. I need an empty flask. Boop. I guess I can always use the coffee cup if uh, we ran out of flasks. All right. Where is it? Where's the output? Right here? Right there. Is that, is that lined up? <laughs> okay. Turn on mutagen. Ah, see how fast that is? Now, let's find a good use for this mutagen. Open the Creaturepedia by pressing the M button and click on your mutant to check its status. Okay, Creaturepedia. Okay, because your creature already went to a mission, you know where its strengths lie, okay? You have to test your creations to figure out figure that out, however. Your creature lost some vitality after the last fight, and its strength is also drained. If the vitality ever reaches zero, you will lose your creature. You can fix that. Exit. Okay. Let's see, 108. So what's its, like, strengths and stuff? Look at its arms. Ugh. Okay, it's legs with the shoes and stuff. is hilarious. Okay, what do we got here? Enhancements none. Minimum max damage. Cool. Wow, okay. So it's got some stealth on it for sure. Vitality, terror, body acquisition, substance. Act. Interesting. Okay, so let's close the uh, encyclopedia. Take your mutagen and place it in the stasis chamber used by your creature, then open the control panel. Okay, grab it. This is like the greatest mutagen ever created. Where is she? Oh, I see it right down here. Pour the substance. Choose the option to nourish the creature. Always make sure that the substance you use for this matches the mutagen that was used to create the monster. Okay, interesting. Can I put this down somewhere? Okay. Now, access the panel. Awaken Nourish tutorial. So I see the symbols here. Efficiency 90. Got it. Let's nourish. Oh, nice. Okay, we did it. Okay, put the mutagen in the holder. Oh, no, I'm sorry. It says put the mutant in the holder. What, what holder? Take her. Where's she going? Oh, what's this for? Interesting. We haven't used this device yet. Okay. Find the panel that controls the holder and extract the mutant's DNA. Oh. We'll get a good look at her. She's got some Harry Potter glasses on her. Yikes. All right, let's see here. Turn on the computer. We want the DNA, huh? Awaken. Uh, take DNA sample. Yes, please. Successful. Oh, I heard something. Is it alive? Head to your laboratory and use a laptop connected to an incubator to start incubating a new limb. You can find the highlighted mutagen in the storage room. Huh. Okay. Now we're getting complicated here, making some new limbs. Head to the laboratory and use a laptop connected to an incubator. All right. Where's the labs up top? All right. Okay. Oh, my God. Look at this. Uh, okay, use the laptop. Um, let's see here. Load last data, DNA sequence, of course. Interesting. You got like the tornado siren going off every five minutes here. Okay, what, what am I doing? Load, start process. Uh, oh. Why is it not working? Right limb, left limb. Wait, do I not have it? It says incubate the limb. Start process. Hmm. Not sure. Maybe it, let's open it and try it. Creature one. Load last. Dose required. Oh, mutagen missing. Oh, okay. So I got to go grab the mutagen. I thought we used it all. I put it down on that table downstairs. Is it still got some in it? It says empty. Oh, do I need to make more? Wait, see, there's something over here glowing. 
Oh, there's more of it. Yeah, we've got more tutorial. That's it. <laughs> okay, so... Uh, where does it go, though? Or do I just have it with me? Okay, dose required. Let's see, load last data. So wait, where do I pour it? Hmm. Alright, let me put this down for a second. Let me inspect a little bit more. Okay, so I figured it out. You've got the hatch here, but you've got the plug cover right there. Place with the water with tutorial container. There we go. Okay, so you just got to really inspect the devices and stuff. Because, like, yeah, like the open hatch is very obvious, but that doesn't do anything right now. This is what I needed for that. So we can put that down. And now, dose is required. We're good. Wait, no, it says dose is required. Okay, why is it working now? <laughs> let's see, load last data seek. Hmm. Wait, let's look again. Is there more? We need to turn it on here. Okay. Let's test it one more time here. Dose is required. Oh, is there more? Does it need more? Do I need to brew up some more or something? It does say dose is required. Let's grab it. And put it over here. I should use master limit. Then I can use this uh, precious. I should master. Oh, okay. So it won't let me use that yet. Down there. Okay. Huh. It says dose is required, even though we just poured it in there. So let me see if I can brew some more real quick. Okay, so I figured it out. What I had wrong was I had a arm selected that I just, I guess I don't, I can't make yet. So it was on this one I, for whatever reason. You can switch between, and I just noticed the arrows here. So you can scroll through. Ah, so we've got our option here for an axe arm. And it's it's good to go. We can start the process on this one. This one, this is a leg. Claw arms. I think that axe arm is the only one we can do. So let's start the process on the right limb. Okay. Back. Good. So we, we did it. Okay. It will take some time for the limb to incubate. Thankfully, you don't need to wait. Just head to your computer, open a map of the city, and press a button. And press a button to skip a day. Okay. Interesting. So... We go to the computer over here to skip a day. Got it, got it. And then our stuff will be ready immediately. I suspect, I wonder if it grows both of them. Oh my God, look. Oh, that is so awesome. Ooh, okay, it looks like a baby. Who knows? Who would have known? It would just grow up to be a little arm. But uh, that's going to be pretty impressive to see that thing develop. And I think this is probably a good spot to end the episode here for today. We've learned a lot so far. I think there's probably still more tutorial to go. So I hope you guys will tune in for the next episode. If you are enjoying the uh, Creature Lab content, hit that like button for me. Also, I hope you'll consider subscribing to the channel. We do daily uploads of all different kind of games here. So I will see you guys on the next episode.